Purdue University Orthopedics and Spine. They pride themselves, rather, on providing high-quality, comprehensive care in a patient-centered setting. And now they're proud to welcome our, their, our next guest, rather, to the team. They certainly are. Her name is Dr. Caroline DeRode, and she joins us now. Good morning, Dr. DeRode. Good to have you. Thank you for welcome having in. me. And congrats on uh, joining the practice. Thank you. Yeah, well, you'll be, you're, you're going to start practicing in October Correct. Uh, with this group. Tell us a little yes. bit about yourself and your medical background. Uh, well, I grew up mostly in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and so I went to medical school in Nevada. I trained for orthopedics in Kansas City. I did two fellowships after that, one in pediatric orthopedics in Salt Lake and the other in pediatric hand surgery in Sacramento. Wow, okay. Do you know, she actually specializes in pediatric hand surgery, a very unique specialty. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you come to study that? Uh, well, it's a, a number of things. What drew me to pediatric orthopedics was uh, my uncle has cerebral palsy and I grew up uh, with him very close to us at, for a long time living with us when yeah. I was a child. That uh, is uh, me bringing my newborn son to see him. He lives in the Netherlands where I'm originally from. Mm -hmm. And um, as I was doing pediatric orthopedics, which deals a lot with children with those types of Existing disorders. Condi conditions. Exactly. Um, there's a lot of need for them to be able to use their hands. A lot of people think, Orthopedic surgeons help you learn how to walk, and yeah. that's very true. It's a, an amazing gift to give a child to help them walk, but it's even more amazing to me to help them learn how to feed themselves and take care of themselves and use their hands that some can't. Mm. It, and it's incredibly important to have somebody with your expertise in our valley now. This is the type of expertise our valley needs and craves, mm. and to have that now. Indeed, is there fantastic. wasn't anyone until I. So you're the in one. The state. Wow, yeah. I love that. That's cool. Neat. Yeah. Uh, so was, what, what, what options are now available that might not have been before for orthopedic care here in Southern Nevada? Uh, well, one of the uh, things that I specialize in, in addition to cerebral palsy, particularly in the hand or upper extremity, is a condition called brachial plexus birth palsy, mm -hmm. where the nerves in the neck are injured sometime around the birth. Yeah. Uh, and I either restore them or deal with the consequences down the line and, yeah. and there isn't anyone else in the state that does wow. that. Wow. And there's wow. a lot of therapy that goes into that and it's, Much, a, it's a long yes, road. Yes. Yeah. Uh, therapists are key in honestly everything that an orthopedic surgeon does. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, absolutely. It's that recovery time afterwards, right? And yes. retraining, retraining the muscles of the body. Exactly. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's so great to have your specialty. I'm sure the team is glad to have you. Tell us yes. about some of the, the other conditions that are treated at a University Orthopedics. Uh, well, certainly adult conditions, uh, degenerative uh, spine, joints, mm -hmm. uh, trauma. Uh, two of my partners take trauma call and are the head of uh, orthopedic trauma at UMC. Injur when people get injured, it, it affects yeah. their joints or, or a hip injury, Indeed. these kind of things, right? Indeed, yes. Wow. And children with fractures, uh, all, pretty much anything a child can do. Yeah, well, yeah, there Which is a long list yeah, yes, to of course. <laughs> well, and, and they certainly try. <laughs> they try oh, to do as do. much as possible. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, but it's, it's just inevitable as our population grows here in Southern Nevada, the need for this will just continue to increase and increase. And, you know, the running joke has always been the best health care you can find at McCarran. Yes. Not the case. We are slowly but surely. Exactly. We are working very hard to put it into that and build here. There's a need still. Uh, the estimates are one pediatric orthopedic surgeon for every two. 200,000 population is mm. about what you need. There are five in the valley, so if we're doing including the math, myself. That would be we are, 1 million people, but we have 2.1. Oh, so we are uh, significantly underserved. Absolutely. And I, wow. I think uh, it, the ultimate goal would be a children's hospital that would bring all these specialists here. That'd be fantastic. Interesting. Well, it's good to hear, you know, I, I mentioned to you before the interview too, that you, we have recently had several doctors on, on the program who have said, we're, we're trying to build up this, make this, uh, you know, our medical care go to the next level. And with UNLV's yes. medical valley, school coming, yes. seems like the ball's yes. going to get rolling. We are trying, it's, it, it, it's a good thing. I'm actually teaching in the medical school as well. And fantastic. I'll be in the classroom this fall great. teaching. I love that, that's great. So yeah. it's gonna be very fun. It's awesome having you, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, great to have you, thank you so much. You can meet University Orthopedics and Spine's newest addition to their team. They're located on Oki and Decatur. You wanna find out more, you can call them or you can visit uoslv.com. University Orthopedics and Spine, proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.